The Sultan Ahmed Mosque is popularly known as the Blue Mosque for the blue tiles adorning the walls of its interior. It was built from 1609 to 1616 during the rule of Ahmed I. While still used as a mosque, the Blue Mosque has also become a popular tourist attraction. Its design incorporates some Byzantine elements of the neighboring Hagia Sophia with traditional Islamic architecture and is considered to be the last great mosque of the classical period. It is overwhelming in size, majesty and splendor. It has six minarets along with eight domes and one main one. The monumental but narrow gateway to the courtyard stands out architecturally from the arcade. The court is about as large as the mosque itself and is surrounded by a continuous vaulted arcade. The central hexagonal fountain is rather small in contrast with the dimensions of the courtyard. Interior view featuring the prayer area and the main dome. The interior of the mosque is lined with more than 20,000 handmade ceramic tiles made in more than 50 different tulip designs. The tiles at lower levels are traditional in design while at gallery level their design becomes flamboyant with representations of flowers, fruit and cypresses. The floors are covered with carpets, which are donated by faithful people and are regularly replaced as they wear out. On the chandeliers, ostrich eggs are found that were meant to avoid cobwebs inside the mosque by repelling spiders. This is a fact that I have not been able to confirm. The most important element in the interior of the mosque is the mirab, which is made of finely carved and sculptured marble, with a niche and a double inscriptive panel above it. But the many windows around it make it look less spectacular. To the right of the mirab is the richly decorated nimber or pulpit. More than 200 stained glass windows with intricate designs admit natural light today assisted by chandeliers. The colored glass of the windows was a gift of the Signoria of Venice to the Sultan. Water faucets used by men for ritual washing in preparation for prayer having afternoon Turkish tea.
The Basilica Cistern is the largest of several hundred ancient cisterns that lie beneath the city of Istanbul. The cistern, located 500 feet 150 meters southwest of the Hagia Sophia, was built in the 6th century during the reign of Byzantine Emperor Justinian I. Historical texts claim that 7,000 slaves were involved in the construction of the cistern. The enlarged cistern provided a water filtration system for the Great Palace of Constantinople and other buildings on the first hill, and continued to provide water to the Topkapi Palace after the Ottoman conquest in 1453 and into modern times. Carp swimming in the cistern. Sultan Ovesik and his favorite wife, Rosita. Located in the northwest corner of the cistern, the bases of two columns reuse blocks carved with the visage of Medusa. The origin of the two heads is unknown, though it is thought that the heads were brought to the cistern after being removed from a building of a late Roman period. Enjoying a nice alfresco meal. All the monuments illuminated at night were quite a sight. The Hippodrome of Constantinople is today a square named Sultan Ahmed Square with a few fragments of the original structure surviving. These four bronze horses used to be in the Hippodrome and today adorn the San Marcos Basilica in Venice. This obelisk was brought from Egypt in 390 and erected inside the racing track. Carved from pink granite, it was originally erected at the temple of Karnak in Luxor in about 1490 BC. Theodosius the Great had the obelisk cut into three pieces and brought to Constantinople. The obelisk has survived nearly 3,500 years in astonishingly good condition. In the 10th century, another obelisk was built at the other end of the Hippodrome. It was originally covered with gilded bronze plaques, but they were sacked by Latin troops in the Fourth Crusade. The stone core of this monument also survives, known as the Walled Obelisk. The Obelisks The Neo-Byzantine German Fountain The Hagia Sophia 
the blue mosque panoramic view over modern sultanahmet by night with the Hagia Sophia to the left the hippodrome in the middle and the blue mosque Then it was time to take the tram back to the hotel and retire for the day.